In Waterloo tonight, there's a final push on to sell stacks of calendars. It's a fundraiser for the local Humane Society there. And as Michael Dick shows you, it features the work of a very special artist. Lee J was very into details, as you can see. For Shirley Levine, each month, each picture holds so many memories. It's comforting to see that he's around and, and people are looking at his artwork every day in so many different places. Her son, 18-year-old Lee J. Levine, died in 2007. He was under anesthetic, having his wisdom teeth removed, but died from complications shortly after. He was our middle son, and he was everybody's best friend. He was very close with his younger brother, Ellie, and his older brother, Casey. Determined to keep his memory alive, his family created this calendar full of childhood artwork, everything from Ninja Turtles to the family cat. I get great warm feeling, warm fuzzy feelings. It helps me heal and by helping others it makes me feel a lot better as well. The money raised from these calendars will go here to the Kitchener Waterloo Humane Society where Lee J once volunteered. Money that's badly needed. The best place for this money to go would be what we call our will fund and that fund has been put together quite a few years ago in order to address the needs for emergency surgeries for animals who may have been injured or hit by a car and currently that fund is, is very, very low. Back in the living room, Levine is hoping to sell stacks more of these calendars. It just keeps us busy and when you keep busy you have less time to think and it's, to, to me it's a very positive thing. Lee Jay would have now been in his second year studying architecture at the University of Toronto. His death still hard for his family to deal with, but they take comfort knowing that his art is helping one of his favorite causes. Michael Dick, CBC News, Waterloo.